today's video we are going to make aloo paratha not much ingredients but very healthy very yummy here i have taken down 300 gram medium sized potatoes i have peeled them round four medium then one bunch of spring onion i have taken the green part not white part i'm not gonna add white part Quarter, quarter of a bunch of mint leaves, one tablespoon, like one uh, one and a half teaspoon of ginger, one and a half teaspoon of garlic, and combine the they are one tablespoon ginger garlic. Then mint leaves and coriander leaves are of almost same quantity. So quarter of a bunch of green coriander. Now for the dry spices, I have taken quarter teaspoon here of bishop sweet as fine. Pinch, pinch of any seed fennel, one button chili, and one teaspoon of cumin. I love the aroma of white cumin with potatoes. Now here I forgot to mention one green chili. I'm not taking much spices here because we are going to serve them with. Uh, combo of chutney sauces so if you put a lot of spices here in parathas then they are not going to give very good flavor when you enjoy them with the sauces so spices are less just one green chili and one button chili let's get started here my steamer is hot i'm putting my potatoes here now once they are steamed properly then we are going to match them here in the meantime they are steaming i am cutting my vegetables there here's now i have i have my chilies in plate and i have chopped my ginger garlic along with one green chili here are my green vegetables spring onion mint leaves all soft and waiting for my potatoes once they are steamed and we will continue further here comes my potatoes i'm not gonna throw away this water this is going to keep the paratha moist here you can see they are all steamed properly i'm gonna mash them I am not going to eat the green part of this uh, paratha in the potatoes yet. I am only going to add the dry spices because I want my vegetables to be moist to keep their keep their freshness in here goes the tamarind pulp in it. The dry spices but i'm not going to add my mint leaves coriander salt as per your taste hold them now this steam is going to soft the fennel bishop's feet white cumin see now 
probably you can have see but i don't see any water now it's all going to be absorbed by these spices once the potatoes these mashed potatoes are cooled enough then i'm going to add my green vegetables because in the cool this uh, potato dough they are gently we fold it even if they are fried shallow fried while in the dough they are going to keep their aroma intact their freshness intact so now it's all properly mashed adjust the seasoning and then we will leave them to cool cool enough so that we can add our vegetables My vegetable, my potatoes are cool now. Now I'm going to add my vegetables. Here goes ginger, garlic, and green chili, spring onion, mint leaves, and coriander leaves. salt we already had added so not gonna add much salt i have not mixed a lot of spices because i want my potatoes to be the hero of the dish i wanted to show you i check the seasoning so uh, tamarind was a little missing in the flavor so i have added one tablespoon of tamarind pulp here and salt do not mix it too much because if we mix it too much so these green vegetables are going to lose their juice i want them to be keep their freshness in so just gently fold it damn it you need to mix when this is gently folded mix then we will leave it to rest a little and then i'm gonna knead my dough for this paratha i think it's folded now we come to the next part of our rest we come to the third part of our aloo paratha here i have the wing machine around 400 gram of white flour we use this is not whole wheat flour and it's not maida all purpose flour this is bread flour or now here the ingredient that are going to go in the dough of our one fourth a teaspoon of bishop's sweet one teaspoon of white cumin a lot of people use powder cumin i don't because they give very strong aroma that i don't want i just want my potatoes to be the hero of the dish here goes the salt as per the taste like thin round one and a half teaspoon of salt will be enough for it now adding the oil is optional if you feel like you have crispy paratha that you can eat the oil or if you don't then it's quite optional i'm just adding one teaspoon not more than that enough now simply we'll mix it and then we'll knead it
the half cut dough ball that you see here is of 50 gram.